Okay, uh, welcome Professor Dagang Lu uh, from Harbin Institute of Technology in China, in Harbin, in the north of China. We are very happy uh, that uh, we found uh, this time here to ask questions uh, about the uh, cost action tier 1402 on quantifying the value sure. of uh, structural health monitoring. Uh, you have been uh, here from, or you have been part of this project from the very beginning, even in the proposal phase. So, mm -hmm. but uh, you of course know best uh, what your involvement was. Uh, please, uh, can you outline your uh, activities? Okay, thank you so much. And uh, I'm very happy to answer your questions, okay? And okay, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. What has been your activity in the cost action T1402? Uh -huh. uh, well, uh, during the proposal phase of uh, this action, uh, I was one of uh, the three uh, international experts, you know, uh, me and the other two experts are. I'm De Kurgan from uh, UC Berkeley. Another one is uh, Professor James Beck from uh, Caltech. And uh, this the first uh, uh, phase, the proposal phase. And during the second phase, uh, the next uh, on the execution phase of this action, I was, uh, was one of the three management committee uh, observers. I remember the other two observers are Mark Stewart from uh, Univers University of Newcastle, Australia. Uh, another one is Michael Todd uh, from uh, Trinity, uh, uh, yeah, from the UCSD in USA. So I um, maybe I'm very special because I'm uh, both the international uh, experts and also the international observers. Yes. And then during the action, I had other uh, activities. I remember mm -hmm. uh, you participated to, to the organization of uh, several uh, uh, special sessions. Yeah, uh, special uh, session. Uh, yes, I remember that uh, last year in July in Australia. Uh, I remember in the, the NAS uh, International Symposium on uh, Maintenance, Safety uh, of uh, Bridges, the Yamas Conference. Uh, me, uh, let me see, me. Um, uh, uh, yeah, Mark Stewart, uh, uh, Alan uh, O'Connor from uh, the Trinity College, uh, Dublin. Uh, we organized a special session on value of information of uh, SHM for life cycle management for bridges. Uh, so this is the first uh, um, special session uh, held in last year. And in this year, in just uh, uh, next, man, uh, next month, in March 27 to 29, uh, there will be the YAPS Symposium will be held in uh, uh, Jamiris, Portugal. Uh, so uh, Marina, me, uh, Michael Faber, and uh, Paulo Gadoni, uh, we, uh, four people, will organize a special session. It's named uh, as uh, SHM Informed Decision Making for a Re Resilient Built Environment. So I think uh, this action uh, has broadened my network. Uh, both uh, through this uh, action, I uh, broaden both my old uh, friends and also I meet uh, many new friends. There will be also another special session that uh, you are organizing uh, in, in September. Uh, oh, yes, you mean you Stanford? Stanford, yes. Oh. And it, it will be interesting because there will be also a special issue of uh, on. Uh, the topic uh, of the action, a special issue on uh, structural health monitoring, uh, the journal, uh, um, and uh, you are participating in the uh, as a guest editor also of uh, for this special issue. 
Okay, that's a very good idea. I just uh, told my uh, two students just now, uh, we will uh, uh, submit a paper, uh, also using the uh, value of information, yeah, to evaluate uh, risk-based inspection uh, planning. Yes, we will uh, submit a paper. Thank you very much for for your continuous activity. Um, mm -hmm. So you have already mentioned that uh, your uh, that uh, your network has broadened, uh, and uh, um, may I also ask uh, what you may have learned from the action from these uh, scientific uh, topics we have been tackling? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. And. Um, uh, how will uh, the uh, cost action uh, outcomes influence your further research? Will you uh, further researching on the topic? Uh, uh, what are your thoughts about this? Well, uh, I think uh, you, uh, basically uh, I can say that uh, the, this area in China uh, has been paid less attention to uh, before, uh, in especially in the field of uh, uh, SHM, so uh, I can say that I I have learned many things from uh, this action. Uh, first, I have learned a new idea uh, of measuring the benefits, uh, the potential benefits of uh, SHM, that VOI, the value of information, uh, which is from the perspective of uh, Bayesian pre-posterior decision analysis. And I have learned the way to uh, make the optimal uh, decision making of uh, SHM systems, uh, which is uh, implementation in the strategy and also uh, in the operational level where the reliability analysis and also uh, using the Bayesian decision theory. Uh, the second is I have learned how to uh, facilitate the sustainable societal developments through the improvements of reliability, robustness, resilience, risk uh, in structural integrity, uh, management of uh, four structures and also infrastructure systems. Uh, by, uh, by optimizing structural health monitoring systems. Uh, the third one is I have found some uh, many other interesting areas uh, which could be uh, paid more attention to in the, in the future in both uh, theoretical and the practical uh, applications, I think, especially in China. Yes. Uh, uh, as you uh, certainly know, and as you mentioned uh, already, the uh, cost actions are not only research projects, but also networking uh, uh, project. They are meant to expand the, the, the research network. So you already mentioned that uh, it worked in your case. Uh, I was wondering if uh, in, uh, in China, uh, do you have something similar to cost actions, meaning uh, uh, both research and networking uh, uh, projects? Uh, of course, uh, in China we have uh, similar projects, something like uh, something uh, like the uh, the cost action, uh, which was uh, organized by the Ministry of uh, Science and Technology uh, of uh, Chinese government. We cost the uh, the most. Uh, I'm the Ministry of Science and Technology most. It, it is the, the biggest uh, uh, organization of uh, uh, Chinese government, you know. We have the very uh, major uh, scientific uh, research projects, a very, very big project. We can, uh, for example, many university in China can apply for some major projects, something like the cost action, something like that. But for the value of the information, we don't have a similar uh, projects. So it's a very interesting. So now uh, in China, uh, some uh, experts, some uh, researchers have uh, noticed 
of a day's uh, research direction. But uh, for the government level, we don't have similar projects. So I think uh, in the future, maybe we can uh, jointly apply for the uh, international uh, cooperation uh, projects for uh, this area. Yeah, that's a super outlook. Uh, and we yeah. would also be super happy to do this. Yes, and I'm uh, very happy to do that. Yeah, well, and I, I think um, we say thank you for the interview. Uh, okay, thank you for, for talking to us and for um, sharing your thoughts. And uh, let's keep in touch. Okay. Bye bye, Professor Dagang. Thank Dagangu. you, Dagang. Thank you. And uh, finally, uh, I wish this action yep. uh, could produce many fruitful uh, achievements and will get great successes. Okay? Okay. I wish. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank okay, you, okay. You're welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.